that I can't break, on the flavor that won't tilt off and fall in the grave. Girl, my camera fell in the gravy on one day. Okay. Train. Record. I'm a uh, edit. All, I'm a record. I'm a edit all that. Okay. Train. Get on the flavor. Yeah. yeah. But I'm a edit all that. Okay. It's called, it's called junk footage. Whoa. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's Tony, I this is let me do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? It's your girl Tanya Lady T, and Tony's on camera today. <laughs> He's not ugly today. All right, welcome to the flavor train because the tickets are free. Oh, he's oh okay. Let, let's it's Tony's praying. He's hungry anyway. Look, y'all, mom has got egg rolls Hello, over there everybody. in the corner pocket. She's got uh, she Brussels told me sprouts. Brussels sprouts. Rice, Brussels sprouts, rice. I got some um, olives thrown up in there. I got some uh, cornbread, egg, egg rolls. But the chicken is cilantro, uh, butter, flavored chicken. <laughs> She's stepping outside. She's out there with Tania, honey. So it's a mixture. It's, it's going to be good. Can we just know that it's gonna be good mm, yes yes it yes. is good all right y'all i'm gonna say grace tony already is already done did the daggone thing thank you most gracious and heavenly father for the food we're about to receive for the nourishment of our bodies for christ's sake amen, amen. and i am hungry too and we've got some kind of the the glaze that was on that chicken is also uh the gravy for the rice Mm. Uh, what happened? Ooh, a sharp bone. You have to be careful when you bite down so hard on chicken. When I get around there to the bone part, that's why I pick it with my fingers because there's a sharp bone, a long sharp bone that you can use as a toothpick. Are you bleeding? Where did it get you at? Oh, it stuck me in my gum. Your roof of your mouth? In my gum. Man. Hard as you chew. Probably talk it probably touched the top of your brain. Mm. Ooh, that egg rolls good. I should have got another one. I can tell you already. Ooh, that cool air feels good from outside. Mine got the windows open. Mm. Oh, that chicken is good. It's like a pe hot pepper. Yeah, those olives are stuffed with garlic. Mm -hmm. Some shiitake mushrooms. I saw a recipe that I wouldn't mind making. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Mm. We went to the health habit because we wouldn't got into where we started. I need to get, I need to go to the health habit. I need some more. Um, Great seed oil. Freaking fly. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go get something to uh, help with the cleansing and uh, with my with my liver and my kidneys mm -hmm. because. Uh, you know, I suffer from eczema, so yeah. let's say uh, I got something to do with my kidneys. So that's a blood disorder. Well, they sure my got kidneys some. not flushing. 
properly. Oh, okay. Well, one thing about it, you, oh, yeah, you can I'm find gonna, it uh, there. Uh, you can yeah, find yeah, it there. Yeah, wall to wall or whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It's all natural. That's what I like. Mm-hmm. Some actual conga and they got some good teas in there as well. Mm hmm. Good loose teas. Mm hmm. Would you want to work with you? I ain't having a Mm. 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 Mom, what y'all doing out here? Oh. Um, what's the name of the chicken? Tell the people, cause um, I. Well, tell me what it tastes like. I don't even know what it tastes like. It's something new I'm trying. I it's like it. a peppery. Like a, I can take some butter. Mm -hmm. I know you okay. said so, sometimes something this cilantro. Is cilantro lime. Okay, lime. Honey butter chicken. Okay. Hmm. Huh? A cilantro lime honey butter chicken. Right. Can't really taste the lime a whole lot. I found out when once you cook lime, you don't really yeah, taste it. Yeah. You know, and, and then I didn't the reason I didn't put it on afterwards. That was some you know, can't do that. Yeah. I mean, you know, for I, the yeah, for know each, taste, each individual yeah, person. But if you can taste that, and I didn't put, I was going to do some fresh cilantro, but everybody don't like cilantro. Yeah, it has a taste that. That fresh, it tastes totally different than, you know, the Yeah. Ones. So I put that dry. You can egg rolls are good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get me another one. Well, and I, you know, I made the egg rolls too. And all you got to do is put them in the oven, heat them right back up. And they crunch right back up. Child, them things. So I made them before. Thin. I bet them, them doggone egg rolls shell was so doggone thin. I thought I was going to have to call them that. Yeah, that's a fine here. Yeah. Joker. He tried to join the party a while ago. He almost got bit. Bit? Don't you get it. Have you eaten any of those uh, those cotton candy grapes? Mm-hmm. I got some from Sam Club one year. We got them. We just got some food line last night. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. 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 Nice and sweet. Mm-hmm. I gotta hold some of uh, them. Some of them sons. Some great, some great grapes. You know, deep, rich, gravy, great. But they were so sweet. Mm. You ate them all? I haven't found them since. Mm. Did I eat them all? <laughs> you eat all the cotton candy grape? Yeah. Not yet. I very rarely I like buy grapes. grapes. I have to be in the mood to eat I like grapes. Them late night. Because see, what I had to do was, I am admittedly, shamedly, a junk food junkie. 
Tony, you already know I know this. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, what I've done is I've replaced the junk food with the grapes and stuff. Okay. Uh, so now when I have the herbs, I, I eat the grapes. Now all I gotta do is work on not eating the whole dang gone thing, the whole box. You get up by yourself when Lisa's still asleep. Mm -hmm. I usually stay up because I, I don't go. I don't. You eat it what? Can't nobody see you eating it. What she? What she? I don't care if I don't eat it in front of the world with the <laughs> audience. It just, that's not a problem. I just um, I'm talking about just the fact that I what I do is I do not whatever I like. I do. Yeah. See, that's me. When I like something, I binge. And then when I'm done, and when I'm sick of and I'm out and I eat it no more for a whole six, eight months. That's why I used to do Little Debbie. Little Debbie brownies. Oh! And let me tell you something. I got a confession for you. I start back playing with Little Debbie. Hmm. But you know what helped me? They've been sold out of them brownies. So that's helped me. The se the, the selling out of the brownies. Ha, ha, ha. No. About two weeks ago, I bought two boxes, right? And I didn't eat the whole box, but I, I did eat two packs, right? Oh, it was very hard, but I, I spaced it out. And for the past three weeks for Instacart, they've been sold out. They've been sold out in Food Line, Walmart, and the DG. Mm. Can't find them in the DG. And you know that's snack place, heaven. Well, I guess I'm glad I'm weaning myself off of the snack. Yeah, I can't do it. I thought, you know what? That's my that's my sign. Cause I ain't supposed to be playing with her. No, still winning. We broke up. We broke up years ago, and now I had to come to myself and say, Tanya, you remember you ain't supposed to play with her. You ain't supposed to be playing with her at all. You ain't even supposed to be looking at her. You ain't supposed to be looking at her little hat she be wearing. She be wearing that little hat. You ain't supposed to be playing with her. Mm -mm. At all. Uh-uh. 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 Quit, wing, quit, quit, quit ringing her doorbell. Quit, uh, quit asking her mom because she come out and play hopscotch. Quit doing it, Tanya. Stop it. So, I got the message loud and clear to leave her alone. She's dangerous. She smile in your face all the time. She want to take your place and add 30 pounds to your already existing fat. She wants you to continue to play with her so that when you get fatter on the playground, the people are going to continue to laugh at you. Who is this? Little Debbie? Yeah. Little Debbie. Well, I didn't know she was that kind of a girl. She is. Yeah, she's that kind of girl. I know she get you fat, but I don't think she get you out there and laugh at you. Yeah. Mm. She's good and friendly to the to those of you who can, you know. Take her in moderation. For the, those of you who can handle little Debbie in moderation, she's the best friend you'll ever have. 
But for those of us who can't handle her in moderation, don't play with her. She'll take you down. In the middle of the day. Yeah. When you're eating her, you're wearing a smile. But when they're all gone, you're put on a frown. See, 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 see. You see what I'm saying, Ma? I know, got mixed up with us, so. But you introduced her to us. You brought us the fudge rounds. The Star Crunch. Yeah, I was a little churns then. The, the, the oatmeal pie. Mm -hmm. The cream pie with the little raisins embedded down in the cake. Yeah. The nut of butter. I thought I raised y'all better than that. <laughs> Started me this big old book, and I just couldn't figure. I was gonna put rest. I was gonna put recipe, but I like scripture and I like scripture that ministers. And I like things because I write so much. I got so, and I got me a big book so I could just start keeping it in this big old book. Uh -huh. Um. So I was, I was gonna start letting you know, um, uh, Sunday. You know, write Sunday, sign in for Sunday dinner or something like that. Or if you got something like you want to write a little. A one liner, not to try to write the whole book. Just a little one liner to put in there. Right. For a keepsake. Hold on one minute, Mom. Tania! Tania, can you hand me an egg roll, please? Another egg roll, please? On the stove, baby. Just get a napkin and get it. Then you know what it is. I was going to tell the tongue, but I don't know what the tongue was. Thank you. You want to say hey to the people? Mm. You have to come behind me. Oh, she's going to go the other way. Mm. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's hot. Mm. Oh, God. Come on. Come here, I think I made 25 or 30. Well, anyway, about the book. I'm going to get them a short piece. Oh, okay. I yeah. started writing in it. And I, I, I know I'm going to put some recipes in there. Just stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll be good. And then about to want to read it, you know, come to the house they can. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tony left his food. I can't mm. believe that. He happened to near do yeah, something. Okay, I'll get that. Mm -hmm. But I'm just brainstorming. I am really trying to get my focus back. My focus is so off. Well. Mm -hmm. And I've been, you know, I've been telling y'all this all year long. And I was listening yesterday. And they were talking about people who have the, the levels of long haulers. Honey, some of these folks are bad shape. I tell God, thank you. Mm -hmm. Some people haven't learned how to walk, how to talk, how to eat. Some, you know, they haven't, like, you, they have to go to therapy. And I thought, God, I thank And I know something. Well, what can I do to help you, though? I, I've asked well, you that. I just feel, I just, you know, like, you know, I like to write and do stuff. I just don't, I don't have, I don't feel like I have the energy. And then I'll get up and start doing, or I'll say, let, let me go ahead and write or do this or that. And then I think, oh, I do and I'll just sit in there and You want a ghostwriter or something? It's not about that. I mean, they got programs where you can do that. Like, you mean you, you're having trouble focusing on anything, writing, anything, pouring it out, putting your thoughts onto paper? Mm -hmm. Almost like writer's block. Yeah, and that's what I thought it was at first, when I first, after I got over COVID. 
Because what I had actually, after I had my heart surgery, I had started writing. I, I got an outline. I got an I'm still recording. You, you want that on there? Oh, I don't care. But I'm just saying. And it, it is good to hear. So if, if you've had COVID or mm -hmm. know someone with COVID, uh, and they tell you that, don't dismiss it because it's real. Right. They were talking about, they got a whole big thing going on about it now because guess what? People haven't filed on their insurance. So they haven't had therapy. Mm -hmm. so that's why I, say, I thank God that I'm not that bad off. Right. But I do recognize that. Uh, and I'm not trying to claim that. I'm just saying yeah, right. that being real. And somebody, well, in fact, uh, somebody asked me yesterday, they said, well, do you think you deserve your heart surgery? I said, well, not really. Mama, yeah. So for her, uh, is the is the, the middle is the, the, the uh, middle mile hourly rate fifteen year here? Not that I know of. <coughs> Just write minimum wage in there. Yeah. What? Just write minimum wage. Hourly rate. Just put minimum wage. Do you know what it is that they um pay? Oh, you don't. I don't know what it is. Google minimum wage for. I can tell you what it is for the state, but I'm just saying I would put down what I know that I have to edit all that out. Now. Whatever the minimum wage is, they know what the minimum wage is. What is it? I would put what I know what they're paying, what the rate of pay is. Uh -huh. I don't know what they're paying. Yet. Yeah, you have to. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they haven't gone to the because everybody hasn't gone to that. Exactly. Because mm -hmm. I mean. Minimum wage is it, but companies are paying higher because yeah. they need the work. Exactly. But I will put down. Are they asking you what the minimum wage is? No, it's saying what is their minimum they're hourly asking you rate. Yeah, that, what they're no, asking what is what, what yeah. you would work for. What would you work for? What's the minimum. lowest amount that you would work for? Right. Yeah. And that's why I said I would put minimum wage. Yeah, put minimum wage, mm -hmm. man. What is that? Just say, just say minimum, just put down the word minimum wage. Mm -hmm. uh, that's universal for the state. Yeah. Uh -huh. I went in there for that establishment of a whole different source. Okay. So, you know, so right in here? Let me go before you send it in. Oh. Hold on. Then we're back to the Longhound Hall. People are having to, and, and insurance companies are recognizing that because it's a psychological thing. Mm -hmm. And insurance companies are recognizing people that file and claim for long hours. And that's that's something that's something new. Right, right. As a result of COVID. So right. all I'm saying is that please don't discount someone that says, you know, oh my God, I just don't feel like doing the it's real. This one girl mm -hmm. was a uh, I guess she was in a restaurant business or some kind of business with her family. And she said she knows she sold the when I said restaurant because she was putting chairs out in front of the building around these little table and she said she would be so tired she couldn't hardly make it and she said she would go ahead and push herself and do it but then she'd have to go sit down and rest yeah and she was a young i mean she was like younger than you even. and wouldn't have nothing to do with age or nothing else it had to do with she has that what they're calling long haul well it's what happens is after effects of having COVID. COVID. what happened well a lot of people that even young folks 20 30 yeah, no, man, because COVID. what is happening is it attacks people's lungs and then there's scar tissue and so the long-term effect is you don't get the wind that you used to get exactly. so you get winded quicker Mm -hmm. And what you used to could do, you can't no more. So that. they're still, you yeah. know, from having COVID, they're still seeing a lot of side effects. Some people, some people still have some not recovered from bad, bad, bad cases. 
Yeah, some people still haven't recovered their smell and yeah. some of their taste. Your tongue, you supposed to taste sour, salty, sugar, bitter, and that defines sweet, sour, salty, bitter. There's five tastes. I'm missing one. Sweet, and sour, five, salty, bitter. But the whole point spice, is yeah. that people are still having after effects and there's tongue. It smell. Hits, it hits people Some people way. haven't recovered their sense of smell. Okay. I mean, they, you know, they have, you know, it's not as strong as it used to be. But they're still discovering different side effects. For people who've had and I mean, COVID, some people are having real bad. I mean, when it comes, that girl so it's says, just you know, and the, the 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 predominant one is that fatigue. Fatigue is just that. Yeah, some people's um. I make sure you cover them back up. I, I think that even in the bank, I think there's an old fly in here somewhere. But people have uh, blood clot. I guess. You know, my thing is just don't just you know, just don't think it's not true because it is the truth on it. Because mm -hmm. I feel the same way now. Because after my heart surgery, I would get my strength back because I was walking, I was doing all kinds of stuff you know that I could do, and it wasn't bothering me. And now after I've had COVID, I'm back feeling windy. But I had gotten past that after my heart surgery. Right. So many months. I got way past that. Because even about the first year, remember, I went and started painting. You can get all that paint done, this, that, and the third. Ooh, that focus. I don't thing. eat the chicken socks. You want the chicken socks? I don't eat chicken socks. Chicken socks? He's mad because I left the chicken socks on here. They thigh highs. Knee highs. Just waste of meat. That way, you chill and you out the middle of All right, y'all. I'm going to end it. Mom getting deep about her health stuff, and I don't want to put it on here. But anyway. I mean, that's just good information because there are a lot of people don't even understand what. Long haul, oh well, yeah, that part, yeah, yeah I'll leave that part, but all that other intimate stuff, I won't put that on there, honey. Mm. Everybody, I have to try. Huh? Come on, No, mom was talking about her personal health stuff. I don't want to have to get mad in the comment section. They'll have every, they'll have every doctor guru comment in the in the comment section. Oh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, but no. It's all good, but um, yes, that anyway. meal was good. Yes, it is. Even though I did it in thesis, but it was good. Had to get my baby girl right. She's interested in working. Yes. She wants, she's seeking gainful employment. Yay. She become part of the working force, working class for America. Yes. This will be her first job. And I'm proud. I'm proud of my baby. I didn't have to force her to do it. This is something she came up with on, on her own. Yeah, Tip Tanir ready to do the daggone thing. <sighs> she ready to bust the move. It makes me proud. <laughs> <laughs> and the 49ers playing lost today, Danny. Did that make you proud? <laughs> Look, we about talking about cheering. Not lost ball game, but they are ahead in the league, right? Yeah. That was last year. That was that was that was a, that was a dagger one. It seemed like they just they just finished up last season. Is this a real season? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they did. <laughs> After one season, the next season. What you mean at the end of the season? But, but the next guess, season still happening. Yeah, but I'm, what I'm no, saying. No, I'm just saying the like, season just started. It seemed like 
the, the other season hadn't got over. It hadn't seemed like there had been enough time in between. Is what I'm getting at. Because they're also well, COVID talking about interrupted and they, they're stuff. also talking about basketball. I'm changing my way to right. Well, they're now. playing basketball now. Oh, are they? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but what I'm saying is, I COVID can't keep up with it. Stuff overlap. Yeah. Oh yeah. What about that baseball? Was, Is that finished? It's no, during the playoffs. Everybody's playing everything, man. It's all mixed in together. Now, that's why I said, well, hold on. Is it, that's why I asked you, is it regular football season now? And then I heard them talking about that boy, you know, who I was going to the Lakers. And I thought, well, that was wrong. I don't know why all these seasons had started. Yeah. But they have. Uh, so they probably got that. they probably got a hundred basketball games to play. Yeah. Still, they do have quite a bit of basketball games they play every year. Yeah, they play over a hundred basketball games a year. And the way the get down went, if they ain't hardly right. play yeah. any because everybody kept getting sick. So I'm, that's why I'm saying they probably still got about a hundred basketball games to play still. That season is done for. It's a new season. It's a new season. It's a new day. Fresh anointing. I used to love that song, y'all. Y'all remember that song? It's flowing my way. It's a season of power and prosperity. It's a new season coming to me. I mean, that arrow was good. All right, y'all, let me go. Anyway, y'all, I want to thank y'all for stopping on the flavor train because what? What? Flavor is where it's at. All right, y'all, have an awesome week. See you on the next ride.